Hi there, I'm Harry from Harry's Nut Butter. Today I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes at where we make our beautiful peanut butter in Dublin 8. So you can see here we're just in like a big empty yard which looks very kind of like um, scary from the front but like inside you'll see it's gorgeous. Here we've got basically all warehouse stuff. This is where we use storage. The peanuts will bring their way in here. They come from Argentina. This is where we keep all of our stock that's ready to go before Bruno has it all packed up. This is the first place that the peanuts go. Very simple, they just go peanuts in, peanut butter out. Usually it's used for grinding dynamite, apparently. That's what they told us. They were like, this is a product that's actually used for grinding up stones. So like it can be used for peanuts as well. And then we pile it up all into these buckets. And so we've got plain here. And so that's just the peanut butter that's come out the machine and then that would get put up here into our pneumatic filler and then it gets poured in here and then you've got another person who's working down here and that's operated on a foot pedal. And so then they go around to the vacuum sealer and then they get added here, which is the next step. And then beyond that, they go over to our labeler and they go on the labeler, the labeling machine, they'll pass through it and then they're ready for the shelf and they'll go into boxes and they'll go out in the world. But once they get a label on them, then that's them ready for the world. So where did the idea of Harry's nut butter come from? It's a lockdown project that's just gone pretty well, I would say. It's, um, I'm a chef by trade and uh, I was working close by to here in a place called the Fumbly Cafe. Um, and while I was there, I was working on a number of different food projects. And one of the things that I had been doing was the original peanut butter. It was only during lockdown when the cafe closed down and then all of my work dried up that I was like what am I gonna do and um, so I thought about that as a way of like moving forward because I could do that in the cafe actually because I was able to turn that into the first factory so it was a project that happened because my other work stopped. How do you take it from an experiment yeah. to an actual? Yeah an actualized realized thing so um, that's a really good question I think. I think it's to do it because you can get really bogged down by red tape that you might think that's there. All you gotta do is like push through that and then before you know it, you've got something on the shelf. Um, and then the other thing is to get as much free money as you can from, oh, from anybody who's gonna give you free money, you should take that. <laughs> um, what makes a good nut butter? What makes a good nut butter? Um, a really good grind, a really good fresh grind. But beyond then, like a really good quality nut. Um, and we spend a lot of time sourcing that and we go through a lot of hassle. Um, trying to make sure that we have the best possible one. Um, and then everyone, all peanut butter brands have got their own like distinctive roasts, do you know what I mean? There are other people who go for a very dark roast, who go for a light roast, with mediums. It's kind of like a bit like the coffee world in that way. And so I think a good roast, a good fresh peanut, and a good grind. What are you most proud of? Oh, that's great. What am I most proud of? Um, I think here we are three years later and we've grown and we've still got the same team which feels even more solid than ever. I'm really proud of like that, of that we formed this in a really strange time and it's now become the thing that supports all of us. And I think I'd be really proud of like that journey, that it was, um, you know, an off the cuff plan that's worked out to be like the living of five people. Yeah, very good. <laughs>